All right. Here we are, everybody. Welcome, everybody, from the Croco stream. Nice stream, by the way. Disco Crocodile. How are you guys doing? So, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I go by the name of Mr. Keeps. And I am a Brazilian keyboard enthusiast. Um, and I'm very happy to be part of this initiative. Uh, so first and foremost, I want to take, you know, a few minutes to thank Visionaire first for running, running this um, and somehow helping to relieve the, you know, all the struggle we have with COVID-19. Uh, most of us are at home right now on this crazy confinement, so it, it's very nice of him to help. And yeah, thanks everybody. So if you have any questions or anything about, I don't know what happened with my bot right now, but it's not responding to the comments. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about what's going to happen. Um, we are encouraging um, donations, and donations can be made through, it seems my command died, so I'm going to paste a few instructions here before we get started. So in order to donate, you can go to this address right there um, and make your donation. They're, they are very welcomed. And I, I, I know that we have a lot of people, so it's going to be hard to acknowledge everybody. But thank you guys for the follows, for the subs, and for everything. All right, so a little bit about the giveaway that I'll be doing. Um, a lot of people asked me, uh, I designed my own artisan case, uh, and a lot of people has been asking me to sell them, which I don't think I will because I, I really don't think it's it's feasible to ship them out of brazil but i will be making an exception for the people here and i will be donating two of those 3d printed artisan cases that i designed myself and i can do them in any of the colors that i have material for and i will ship them anywhere in the world free of charge air is giveaway right 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 and speaking of Aris. Um, that's what we're building today. Yes, inc artisans not included. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good point, visionaire. Uh, <laughs> all right. So talking about L L L S J Aris, um, this is a board that I had in my collection unbuilt for way too long, and I have been waiting for a fun, you know a, a nice. A nice opportunity to build it and what's better than this event right so we are building this um, let me show you the board it is a gray space artist with a brass plate thank you everybody that's following as I said it's gonna be hard for me to keep up so thank you Jack attacks and so this is a board that ran 2018, I would think. Um, and we're going to be building it with a HHKB, oh, sorry, uh, uh, USB-C DZ60. And it's a really nice board. I especially like the bottom very much. <laughs> I've seen this before. You did, haven't you? I see that the whole Brazilian gang is here. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. Thanks for everybody else. And so this board, it came with a version of a DZ60 that has the Aris inscription here, the logo, but it is USB-C mini, USB mini. So I am actually building this with the um, DZ60 USB-C because this has been good enough in other builds that I did. And I am using some C3 steps. Uh, I have a bunch of them and I've never used them. So I, I have been using mostly Everglide steps. So let's do this. I just got the PCB on my QXP. There you go. All right. 
Is this is the volume soft? Don't put EPBT on C3 steps. Yeah, I am aware of that. And I decided to go with it anyways. We're going to do GMK caps. By the way, if you have any suggestion of what you think would go nicely, any GMK sets that you think is going to be a good match, I am taking suggestions. So, and let me know if the volume is too soft. I know I, I noticed that my camera is kind of weird. Hander bait. That's one that I don't have. I also don't have nines and I don't have... Honeywell, and I don't have Pristine, so you guys picked the ones that I don't have. I do have Moto. Oh, GMK Honey would be awesome. I do have GMK Bento. Do have 8008. I do have Taro. Taro. Do have Muted. So it seems like we need to... I'm, I'm going to, you know, keep looking, keep watching for the suggestions. And maybe what we'll do, we'll get like the ones that are, you know, mentioned more than once. And we can make a poll for it. So we have two mentions of Taro, two mentions of Bento, two mentions of Mizu. Mizu. Another Taro. Okay, so it seems like Moto and Taro. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's create a poll. Um, here we go. Let's open straw poll. Let's create a poll right now. And thank you so much for the three bits, Imzo. That's really appreciated. So what key set on the LSJ Addis? We're gonna do GMK Moto, GMK Mizu, or Mizu, I don't know. GMK Taro. Red Honey, I don't have Red Honey, unfortunately. I do have uh, Honeywell, Honeywell and Company Cummings. I do have Dots as well, but Bliss, I, I bought the extra Bliss. It's coming soon, but I don't have it. Yeah, Night Runner would be amazing. No Night Runner yet, so it's kind of impossible. What else? Bento, and Bento was also S4 a couple of times. Regular Honey. White and black. Yeah, we can do any of those. Hope the stream is going on. Hey, KVS, how are you? Yes, it is. Thank you for joining us on this good cause. All right, should I do white on black as well? Oh, GMK camping. Yeah, that's one I'm gonna put it, put here because I really won't, I would love to have GMK camping on this board. So that's my bias. I would go with camping. So I think we're going to call it here. Do you want to add Oblivion? Or is that too many options? And I'm just noticing that I have a third eye for the stream. So that's, <laughs> that's a crazy pimple that I have today. So that's my Indian side. All right. So let me create this. Yeah, I would love to get camping as well. But I want to be fair with my audience. And, oh, I forgot about minimal. Yeah, I thought, yeah, let's go without minimal. Oh, artisan boards. There's the straw poll. I'm going to keep it open here. And we're going to be taking a look at it from time to time. But without further ado, let's get to it, shall we? So let me turn on my soldering iron. And as I said, we're doing... Black inks with 205 and 105. And disassemble the board first. Yeah, I love that combo. And by the way, welcome TTY. If you guys don't know TTY, he's a great artisan artist he does great artisans he and he goes by the name cyo so if you're into artisans make sure you check him out and this board is weird and it came like this it, it has two different types of screws but i do think that i have 
a different hardware here. Let's take a look. Yeah, we have those. Not quite sure if those are meant to go here. Maybe they are. Yeah, let's take those out and see if we can put those in when we assemble it. Oh yeah, TTY just uh, unleashed his set to the world today as well. And Smee, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Yeah, the Gundam pad, do you like it? Yeah, I use it for soldering and for protecting the board in general. And it's funny because I last opened this board in 2018 and it has been sitting waiting for a good opportunity to be built ever since, which is crazy. Mr. Kiz, every time I tune in and see your wall of key back there, I feel like I need to set up my display game. Always oh, so cool to see. Man, and I, it's very disorganized and clumsy. I don't know. I, I feel like if I had any artsy inclination, I could do this 10 times better, execute it. This event is crazy. Yeah, kudos to Mr. Visionary X. Just call me and I'll help you make that wall nice. I'll hold you accountable for that. Did I just try to screw, unscrew a place without a screw? I think I just did. All right, let's see. We have our beautiful brass plate in this brushed finish. I just wish it wasn't universal. I wish it was NC only, but you can't have everything, right? When did you start your collection? So, so Jack, I started a hobby in January 2018. Hey, Lager, doing good, how are you? And Sujo is also here, hello, hello. All right, so we're gonna do the um, Sangen bottom. Uh, since it's HHKB, we're gonna do 7U and then the usual stuff. So something I learned with my keyboard guru, Mr. Anthony from 001 Keyboards which I'm sure you guys know about. Um, we're gonna start soldering the, the switches on the outside, and then we're gonna solder them outside in. This way you get a nice flush set of switches and they are all flush with the PCB. And by the way, Anthony is also gonna stream tonight. I think he's gonna pick it up at very late for East Coasters, but I think it's like 1 a.m. or something like that. 4 a.m., okay, yeah. <laughs> I knew it was late, but that's crazy late. He's in Central Time, but still, he's a night owl. Yes, I do, Jay. 
Most of the time I solder those, then some in the center, and then I go, you know, randomly, but I try to do that. That allows you to have a good consistency of how the switches touch the PCB. And I never solder those, um, those that are more than, you know, a 1U unit as well first because the plate also helps. I mean, I will do this stepped caps here, but that's about it. So it seems like GMK camping is winning for now. So if you guys want to vote, here is the link. Oh, this screwdriver, hold on. This is the ES-121. Let me see if I can give you a nice close up. And this is super nice because the way it works is when you, oh, I hate this. It, it, every time it thinks there is a face, the viewfinder shows up and it's not something you can undo. But anyways, the way this works is you press this little button here and then depending on how you twist your, your wrist this way or that way, it, you, it screws or unscrews. So if I do press and then I turn it this way, it does for, to one side. And then if I press and turn this side, it unscrews. It's it's worth it. It's it's kind of expensive, but I swear by it. I just love this. And you can find it in, on Amazon. Just Google, just search for ES-121. About to buy a new screwdriver. Man, I wish I got like $1 for every time people ask about it. And I was about to paste the link to the straw poll. There it is, if you guys want to vote. And I don't know why my bot got a heart attack. So I don't know why that happens with Nightbot. But the build is an LSJ Aris with black inks. And they are lubed with a mix of 205 and 105. Yeah, and the thing with the ES, this ES-121 is the successor for the ES-120, and this one has a little bit more torque. So I think this has definitely more torque than the wall stick, but it's way more expensive as well. Also, Nightbot is having issues. Yeah, is there any other recommended bots that I can switch to? This. This bot has letting me down, has been letting me down for a long time now. And guys, don't forget, if you can donate, please help us and donate. I'm gonna put the link in chat for the donation again. Give me one second. We also have a blind auction with a lot of awesome. Yeah, Nightbot took a shit. Excuse my French, but I don't know what's going on there. So, my comments. And thank you for the follow, cough name. Is the Viper on the desk? Yes, this is a Duck Viper. I love this board. I even love the 11 degree angles that it has. It's kind of nice. But yeah, it's one of my favorite boards for sure. Really like it. Nightbot is not working. So Charity you would get this link. Of all days that Nightbot could have issues, out of all those days, today he decides to not show up. And another thing that I really like to do with my boards that I know a lot of people don't like is to have a heavier switch for the for the spacebar. 
So I have, and I always try to use a different housing if possible, or otherwise I make a mark on the switch. And this one has a 95 grams spring from Novel Keys. So I'm not, not going to solder it just yet. All right, let's start soldering the switches that, you, that we have on. And Derek Decline, D D D Decline. Thank you so much for the follow. Another another thing that is common sense when building keyboards uh, or when soldering, something that I like to do is to solder, especially on the first switches, solder just one leg first, so you can peek from the top and make sure that the um, because switches have this little nub on the front. Let's see if I can make it focus better. Yeah, can you see that it has those two nubs on the front? So you always want those two to be touching the PCB. So what you do is you inspect it, and if you think it's not touching the PCB like mine isn't, what you do is you reflow one of the pins, the joint there, and you push it down until it is touching the PCB, which I'm gonna double check here, yeah. Just make sure that there is no gap between that nub and the PCB. So I'm gonna do that for most of those switches and then I'm gonna have another pass and solder the second pin. Another thing I like to do, hold on, is all the switches, they have one of the legs that are, one of the legs is more flexible than the other. You can see that this one is way thinner than this one. So this is very hard to bend and this is very easy to bend. So always try to solder the flexible first because you're gonna notice if it's not bent, if it's bent. So that's another, another trick that is nice to do. I didn't follow it for some of the switches, but if I can, I always do that. This way you don't have to desolder or you only have to desolder one of the legs, if you if you bend the pin while inserting. Yeah, I, another thing I was about to say that get is try to always push down with the hand you have holding the solder and then you solder it to make sure that it's also flush. But sometimes even with this trick of pushing it down it's not going to be flush. So make sure you inspect after doing one leg is my advice. Thank you, Washi, for the follow. Appreciate that. Thoughts on K. I think it's a very nice board. I really like the guy that designed it, Bizoromi. I like his designs a lot. So if you're on the fence about it, I think you should get it. It's a beautiful board. And you should get it with the red bottom. That's my favorite. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm pushing it down while I'm sold soldering. That's a good practice. So do we have everything soldered? No, I missed this guy. Okay, so all the switches have at least one leg soldered. I'm gonna go back and inspect. Oh, you, get, you got a spot on the mahjong, mahjong, is that how you say it? GB. Which one is that? Do you have a, do you have a link for the mahjong? I think I missed that one. Yeah, 
Guys, and for those of you who joined recently, we are taking donations for the COVID-9 relief fund, which helps um, with the relief for, of course, for the COVID-19 in more than 80 country, countries. So if you can, make sure you help us with that. And also we are having a poll for, and thank you, Exo Exotus, because I don't want to call you Shoshotus. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Just so you know, Shoshotus in Portuguese is almost a bad word. Not a bad word, a good word, but <laughs> that is not a very polite word. Are we doing marbles for the giveaway? Imzo, uh, I didn't set up marbles. I never tried it. We could if we have time towards the end of the stream. We can do it if you guys help me out. But otherwise, um, we're going to do a giveaway based on a key, um, on a keyword. Um, and we're going to use Nightbot for that. But we could. We could potentially do marbles. So, But I will need your help with that. I never did it. But I would love to learn. Okay. Let me try to finish inspecting those here. And thank you for the follow, E. Hegarty and WiseFab. Thank you so much, guys. Or girls. All right, I think I'm ready to solder. You know what? Let's continue. Let's put on the other switches now. And then I can solder the other leg. And this plate has a very tight fit. If someone has a link for the replacement, please do share. So Marbles XOXO <laughs> is this game that basically you get a number, you, and then you play as a marble on a field. And then the first one is kind of a race against the, you know, uh, between everybody that is playing and the first one to get to the finish line gets the giveaway and thank you for the follow Bjorn Wolf watch your shot me means cat yeah <laughs> how do you clean your iron so Swan Dragon most of the time I use if you look here, there is a brass sponge that comes with the Hako. This is a replacement already because this is so old. So most of the time you can just clean it like that. But if it gets really rusty, I have this product. Let me see if I can find it quickly. I actually have two different products that I use. Let me see if I can find the other one. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so I usually use a tip thinner uh, from time to time, if, if, especially before um, setting the turning it off. Right, if I'm if I'm finished, what I like to do is I apply some tin. And then I dip it a little bit on the brass sponge. But if my tip is like very rusty and you can see that the solder is not sticky, there is this product called a tip refresher. And this works like magic. Basically, it's a liquid that you dip the tip on. And it basically restores your tip to if not original, a close to original state. So those are two good products for that. Our bot commands are really not working, WiseFab, but I'm building an LSJ Addis with this breastplate and with black inks, V2s, uh, with lubed with 205 and 105. 
making me buy stuff <laughs> today. Sorry about that. Yes, also don't forget to donate, guys. And help us mitigate the suffering with COVID-19. One oh five no, so I mix I usually mix one oh five and two oh five. The way the cry talks works, if you get the last number like oh five and you can mix them without causing any separation or at least delaying separation by a, a good amount of time. So you can safely mix one oh five and two oh five, one oh four and two oh four, one oh three and two oh three for instance. So on the springs what I do is I do the same thing. I actually do bag lubing 99% of the time if I'm using linears. So I always use the same material for the springs and for the stems. I tried using the skinny tips before, but found that not enough heat was being transferred. Yes, you just use a higher wattage iron. Uh, this iron that I use is very good. It hits super fast and it has controlled temperature, which is another thing that if you can, you should invest on for, for keyboards if you're building like more than two keyboards. So that is another thing that helps getting to the right temperature. Is that first number the weight of lube like in engine oil? Actually, it is the, um, the medium of the, I don't know if that's the correct word, of the two indicates grease, so it's a thicker loop, and one indicates oil. That's the, I don't know if it's medium of form or, I don't know. <laughs> I'd only bag loop springs. Yeah, I do have a video on my Instagram if you go to my Instagram, which you should, <laughs> my Instagram is, so my ratio, if I'm mixing myself, is 30% oil to 70% grease. And you can reuse the bag for sure. So let me share my Instagram because usually I have a, a bot that does that, but the bot took a vacation today. So if you're on Instagram, um, Make sure you follow me and let me show you. I have there, I have a bag loop tutorial that convinced a lot of people to give it a try. So check this out. Uh, so if you go here to my profile, if you scroll to the right, you're gonna see I have a bag loop story and then you can follow the steps i have it step by step what you need to do how to apply how to make sure that the lube is all over the bag it's uniformly spread and you can leave a little bit open shake it like a full right picture yeah, then check for coverage, and there you go. It even goes to the step of fuming if you want. Do not bag, do not bag lube tactiles, which you shouldn't. But anyways, yeah, one to one. That's a that's what I'm using right now because I bought some pre mixed Elethom. Some thank you so much for the follow. How long did that switch opener take to print? You mean the, the tray that is also a switch opener? Oh man, it takes around 12 hours-ish, if I remember correctly. Around 12 hours, I would say. Usually what I do is I leave it overnight.
Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> Better buy an aluminum one. Yeah, the thing is, it it is. There is no aluminum uh, version of. Oh, sorry for the focus, guys. It, what he's talking about is this. Is a tray like this where you open and loop the switches on the same train. So you get, you put your switches here, like that, and then you can open them in place, remove everything, loop everything, put it back and then close it so you don't have to use a separate thing to open them and for this guy there's no aluminum alternative unfortunately yeah the bot is down i hate that let me paste the charity info one more time Yeah, not the mini one. Yeah, that one you can print a lot. I used to use those before I got a nice aluminum one. But they were really disposable. Holy shrr. So Ungodly Design just donated a board for our blind auction. We have a lot of stuff. Let me open up that link. Collector Scare. Let's see here, Silent Auction. So you guys can see the kind of stuff that we have. Let me keep the stuff here. So you can see we have a crazy polycarbonate bower. I would kill for this. But I think it's going to go with a very high price tag. Or my PayPal won't work with Tiffany. Mm. Oh, you can't bid if you're not in US. So that that's yeah, that's not good. <laughs> you don't have to kill for it, just pay for it. Man, I can't I can't pay what I think the price will be. I will put a bid on it, but I'm sure I'm gonna be outbid in two seconds. Alright, let's solder everything that we have here. Yeah, Mr. Kib says upas. Yeah, e. <laughs> man, I love when foreigners or foreigners speak Portuguese. I have so my business partner he is from US, but he was born in Colombia, and one of the things I like the most is, is when he speaks Portuguese. It's a lot of fun. All right, fala Ed, what's going on? Okay, so these are the current bids. I, I thought this wasn't public, so that's why I didn't show it. Let me show it. So let me make this bigger, bolder, stronger. So check this out. 23, $2,300 for the, for the one that I wanted. How can I outbid this? And I love this. Some tools might be unavailable due to the heavy traffic in this file. Fuck yeah. That's what I wanted to see. High traffic. We need some donations, guys. Just pay more. I know, right? I can use a credit card. I remember when I was a kid, my cousin thought that if you paid using a credit card, it was like free money. That's the cost of a commission. Yep, I know. 
I'm just not rich enough. <laughs> there we go, let's do 10k. Okay. Seems like we have all the switches up top aligned, so I'm gonna go ahead and solder the other legs. Donate to charity and get a free board. There you go. I like the way you think. Hey, Tom Bisprit, our bot is not working right now. But I can paste what it was supposed to go. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much, Visionaire. Welcome to VisionBot, the bot from the future. The only bot with a vision. <laughs> uh, giveaway. So I'm giving away two of my 3D printed artisan cases with no artisans that a lot of people wanted to buy, but I'm not selling them. So the only way to get them is on the giveaway that we're going to do at the end of this stream. And you can choose the color too. If I have that color on my PLA stock, if you will, I will make it for you and I will ship it for you wherever you are. It's all good, admit. Thank you. So, what, so Fred is asking, what printer are you using? So I'm using, I have two printers. Oh, you can't see it behind me. I have one Prusa i3 Mark III that I use for small, smaller stuff. And if I need something that is, you know, a large volume, I have a CR10 S5, which is a 500 by 500 by 500 millimeters also known as 500 square millimeters. Oh, we have a switch with the bent leg. So let me pull it out. It's this one here. Just need to see if that solder, no, I didn't get to the switch, but I'll need to desolder this. And for this soldering, I use this solder sucker from Engineer. It's the best solder sucker out there. And you know what? I'm going to throw also a $50 uh, Amazon gift card to the giveaway. So that's the first prize is going to be a $50 Amazon gift card and second and third we'll get oh crap we'll get a we'll get my artisan case look yeah it's very satisfying actually Okay, let's do it this way. If someone donates, the last donation we got was $20 by Import Shark 80. And if we get three or more donations throughout the stream, I'm gonna add a 50, two $50 Amazon gift cards. How is that? So we're gonna do two 
artisan cases and two $50 Amazon gift card. And we may do the marbles thing. I just need to make sure that I can set it up. So it depends on how much time I it takes me to finish this board. We have some, so we're, we're getting to the one hour mark, but I think I can finish this in 30 to 45 minutes easy. Yeah, I don't, I never used marbles, so I, I won't need your help guys with that to set it up. So another thing, a minor thing is that we're doing this. Did I lose the, the poll already? Does anyone have the link to the poll? I think I've lost it, <laughs> which is, oh, I can probably unclose that tab. Let's see. History. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. I went to my history to find it, but... So we're at uh, GMK Camping has 14 votes. Second place, we have GMK Moto with nine votes. S3LQ, how are you? You made an interest check. I know, I was the first one to comment. Do you see that guy with a penguin avatar? That's me. Those are C3 Stabs Derbs. Yes, I have maybe a hundred of them here, so I needed to use them. And I'm doing an experience because I have been using Everglides for all my builds for months now. But yes, those are C3 steps. Yeah, that, that was the idea to go with a colorful little step just for a change. They're awesome except for PBT. Okay. What happens with PBT? Are they too tight for PBT? I heard about it, but I don't know the symptom. And it looks like we are mostly good with the switches. Dude, you have to sell me some of them when you're able to ship out the... Oh, I will. I will. I can do that. XOXO. <laughs> Shoshatus. Too tight for caps with any warp. Ah, I got it. Yeah, and I know V2 should be better. And I really love the colors of the V2s. The only reason I didn't buy is that I can't justify buying more C3s if I have like a hundred of them here. I'm not kidding. I can show you the tray where I keep it. You guys will see. It's insane. Yeah, I know the feeling. I get a little desperate when my, I'm running out of stabs as well.
waiting on my Everglide stabs from, to ship from KP Republic. Oh, so they're not shipping it? Yeah, I think they... Did they interrupt shipping? I think they did. Yeah, two months. Yeah, I bought mine on Taobao. And it got... It got apprehended by the Brazilian customs because they thought I was buying them to sell. I had to prove that I was like a mechanical keyboard enthusiast and that I was um, using it for my own project. So I sent them a picture of my keyboards and I told them a sad story about how it's impossible to buy them here in Brazil and whatnot. And then they released it. It was super nice. But took a long time, like for the, this process alone, alone, it took like a month of back and forth. My buddy's been waiting on GK64 from, yeah, for like two months. That sucks. Fuck me, I got six keyboards to build. I know the feeling, trust me. Why did, did, don't you build them anymore, Mr. Arctic Fox? And K is following. That's a super nice name, by the way. Just K. Because I gotta look at my switches and I'm lazy. You're not lazy, you're a snob. Because you won't do bag looping. When you build the amount of keyboards that we build, you need to bag loop. Unless you're doing tactiles, of course. Which I think you are, right? Forgot to say, hope you're doing well in this lockdown and hope your mental health... Oh my God, yes. Mental health is the, <laughs> is the hardest part, but I'm surviving. I'm not gonna lie. There has been weeks where I just didn't want to do anything. I don't know if you guys suffered from that as well, but I wouldn't get even the willpower to stream like for a whole week and that was the worst but uh, yeah i'm getting used to it so and thank you so much for asking okay so we're gonna do split backspace here yeah man i feel for you thank you for streaming today no my pleasure w you know what happens? Sometimes I don't want to start streaming, but when I do, I feel a thousand times better. Like I get out of the stream so energized, it's not even funny. Like seriously, it's just the initial push to get it started. Do you have a video for that bag lube lubing tutorial? So Imzo, uh, you did see that I have one on, on, my, on my Instagram, right? And this code, dude, same, I could I get code feed every time before I stream. I'm the same, man. I was watching your stream and I was getting super anxious and super nervous. Here's how it works for me. Like most of the time, this code, people that know me, oh, it's there. It is, it is there. If you go to my profile, Imzo, you'll see it there. So what happens to me is that if I commit to a time to start, I'm always super nervous. So the way it works for me is I say, maybe 20, 30 minutes before I start streaming, I say, I'm gonna start streaming at this time. And then I go and do it. Otherwise it never works for me. People that follow me know that it's hard for me to keep a schedule, like a steady schedule. It always, it has always been, by the way. And yeah. Scan this boy out. Please put some traps. And thank you so much, their placement, their replacement for the 100 bits. Is it common for switches to be a little loose after opening them? Not sure. What do you mean? You mean the, the little thing that locks them down? Do you use Band-Aid and Dielectric on steps? So, Jack, I used to use Band-Aids when I started, but I prefer the consistency of not, ha not having them, so I don't. And I also used to use Dielectric Crease. And let me tell you, Permatex is one of the best there is for that. 
but now I'm using this very cheap 205 replacement from Taobao and it's really good. Like I've been using it forever, but just so you know, Thermatex is my second go-to. So I have it here. But most of the time I do 205 and no Band-Aid anymore. Oh, this is a <laughs> Valorant. Man, I am so... I am Mr. Dad Jokes, so I don't get those young people jokes anymore. <laughs> Just kidding. Super glue, yeah. Do you prefer Permatex or Super Lube? Permatex, 100%, Jay. Um, the problem with Super Lube is that it, with time, it will dry, get dry. Super glue, I love it. <laughs> Ungodly design. So if you, if you get to choose between Super Lube and Permatex, go with Permatex. It is, right? XO, XO. <laughs> it is really good. It's way better than Super Lube for sure. You can put traps in to review enemies. I got it. Ah, so Cypher is one of the characters from Val Valorant. I see. Yeah, no, I didn't get that. Oh my God, what, what, what am I doing? So yeah, no, that's right. We want a function here and the 175 shift. All right, let me solder those and then I need to put the space bar on. Let's solder the space bar as well. So we can figure out how to put the HHKB stuff. So how are we time-wise? Yeah, we're, we're good. We have 54 minutes left. So the space is the same switch. I just changed the top and we have a heavier spring. The spring is a Novel Keys 95 grams spring. I really like the heavier springs for, for space bars. I ordered some films from Kibo, but I never got with receipts, so I'm not sure if they will come out. That sucks. I always had good experience with Kibo LA. I used to buy a lot from them. back when TX films were always out of stock. I just burned my finger. I'm learning Russian right now. Anybody know where I could buy Topri, HHKB Russian and English keycaps elsewhere? Then on KBD fans, I don't like, I don't know. I usually push the tabs on top housings towards each other before putting it back on. That happens time that up. Oh yeah, so I was talking about the switches where and if you open them, with, especially with a switch opener, now, when you put it back, I, I had instances where it would get so loose that I would not be able to fit it onto the plate. So that happens. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. When that happens, usually what I do is I put them on my finger, on my finger, on my teeth, and I bite them. <laughs> I, I don't advise you to do that, but that's what I usually do. Which is kind of stupid. Especially on times of COVID, which remembers me. Make sure... If you can donate to our cause tonight or today, um, we are accepting donations in forms of a silent auction. Or if you can donate to the to the COVID nineteen relief, and I'm sure someone is going to paste the links for you guys. 
this event is showing me how just how little I have actually used Instagram. It feels like such an old person. I am supposed to be the old person, visionaire. You're trying to dethrone me? I'm not going to go down without a fight. There you go. So if someone, if you guys can donate or bid or place a bid on the auction, that will be super appreciated. I bought the Taobao 205 to 105 lube. 50, is it good for switches? It's excellent for switches. And so that's what I'm using right now and what I use for most of my builds. They're excellent for switches. All right, let's try to figure out the switches that we are missing. Where's the space bar? So let me grab. Oh, stoked. Yeah, it's really good. It is the real deal. It is from Dupont. So you can use it no problem. Do you have a link for that there, um, Imzo? I don't have it handy, but I can find it if you don't have it handy. Just let me know. Okay, let's solder one of the legs. I have just a second. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much, Imzo. Is it grade zero stuff? I think it's grade two, the degrees. The it doesn't say so, and it doesn't say usually it's grade two, but you're fine at grade two, especially if you're mixing it with... Um, if, you're, if you were doing grease alone, I would con be concerned about G0, but if you're mixing it with oil, you can't go wrong with G2, like seriously. There's no point on using G0 if, or G00 for that matter, if you're mixing it up with oil, in my opinion, of course. I do have G0 and G00, and I only use those if I'm using grease alone. One last call for votes on the straw poll. We're running for the key set we should use with this LSJ Addis. Remember that this is a gray board. I think it's even a, it's not a light. Yeah, I like gray board. I, I would call it like a space gray. Okay, we can solder the last switches. So guys, after I am done here with my stream, we're gonna go straight to my good friend, Mr. Chewy of Max on Deck fame. So stay tuned. Moto, please. Misa, please. Guys, call your family. Ask them to vote. We can still do it. <laughs> Share it on your family group on WhatsApp. Ask them to vote. 
What's the case color? So this is the case color. It's kind of a space gray, I would say. This is the color of the case. I'm going to ready my bots up. There you go. All right, so I think all the switches are soldered. Let's check. Traditionally, I usually leave one out or one unsoldered. Let's see if we're keeping the tradition today. Hey, look at that. Japanese horror writer. How are you? Thank you so much for the thousand bits. That's awesome. Let me call Carlos. And the tradition is preserved since I didn't solder one of the switches here. Out of the shadows, yes. So the build is an LSJ Aris with Black Inks V2s with a mix of 105 and 205. And sorry for the command not working, KDD. Oh, so where were we? I didn't solder this guy. So yeah, another one down here. Let's solder this. And up in smoke, zero, zero is following. Thank you so much. The link is on set. Oh, so it, it is G0. So I didn't know. So the giveaway, Samwise, I'm sorry, our bot is not working right now. I will be giving out two Amazon $50 gift cards if we get at least one donation throughout the stream. Otherwise, we're going to be giving away two artisan trays that I designed and built myself that are not for sale anywhere. The only way of getting one is on the giveaway. Color of your choice, correct. And if we get at least one donation throughout the stream, I'm also going to give out, give away to $50 Amazon gift cards. What's your process on switch choosing what loop to use for a switch? So if it's linear, 99% of the time I go with either 205 G0 or a mix of 205 and 105. If it's tactile, I usually go with 3204. The parents of a friend of mine contracted COVID-19. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, man, it's, it's really at its peak here in Brazil. And people are starting to get a little fed up of staying home. So that's what's making it really dangerous dangerous right now. I think we're still going to have an increase in cases. We're almost at a thousand new cases per day. Sorry, a thousand new deaths per day. We're at 15,000 deaths. All right, everything is soldered. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the channel, but if you are not, we have a tradition of doing what we call the Josh test to see if a PCB is working, which you, you are about to experience. We Josh now, correct. Oh, they're both on the risk group, yeah. That is really, that really sucks. Okay, so let me grab a cable here. There we go. All right. Ha, 
GMK Moto is taking over. So if you're in for GMK camping, make sure you vote, which by the way, I didn't vote. I want GMK camping, so. Oh, hold on. Oh, there is an IP duplication, okay. Help me out with camping, guys. I wanna do camping. So let's go start our Josh routine. So let me stop the music and here we go. What? Let's start over. Okay, so it's all working, which is what we wanted. Crows, yeah, close race between them for sure. Help us with the camping, guys. <laughs> is that even fair? All right, so here we go. Putting this guy back. So I'm gonna turn it to the other side so we don't get those soldering residues in our case. Hey, look at that. Duo, Duo M with the 500 bits. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. It's an interesting fight. There's something going on here. There we go. So I'm thinking, I don't think I'll put the space bar screw on. I'll see how it feels without it first. Because this is already a brass plate, which is not that flexible. Might even take this one out. Let's see. Yeah, I think it will be fine without it. <laughs> Change the word. But the Moto Gang is is really motivated. They bumped it to twenty five to twenty three. Check it out. No matter how much we vote for camping, they are always taking over. Three more campings. That's all we need. Out accounts detected, yes. That's for sure. All right, so I'm not gonna bother changing the screws. I'm gonna go with the screws that it came with. I don't I like the black screws oh 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> We're up to 27. That's super interesting. Hold on. <laughs> That's a good fight, guys. I love it. Thank you so much. 25 to 27. This is not a democracy. We're in charge. There you go. That a boy. I'm going to close the polls in a few minutes. So as soon as I finish screwing all the screws, we're going to pick a winner. Is the base metal or plastic? What do you mean by the base, Lucas? Like in Cidade de Deus, yes. Have you guys watched that Brazilian movie, which is really good? City of God. Yeah, I, I will close it as soon as I screw this last screw. And we are done, guys. We made it. Camping it is. Sorry, Moto people. 28 to 26. Just put a nail on the coffin. <laughs> I can do Moto as well if we have time. I'm going to put camping on. We're going to set up the marbles game. And then if we have time, I'm going to put Moto on. But if I don't have time... To put model one, I'm gonna post it on my Instagram afterwards. And CH, thank you so much for the follow. So we have about 40 minutes left, which I think is gonna be enough. Uh, let me get Tempe. And thank you for the follow, Mr. Hanks. Danny Freitas is here. How are you, my friend? Welcome, welcome. And Zaychok also fallen. Oh, I should have soldered a caps lock toggle, which I'll do later if we have time. Hello, hello, how are you, Zaychok? All right, here we go. Yeah, I like this is one of my favorite key sets, if not my favorite key set. Moto on the right half, <laughs> can't be on the left. <laughs> I don't think that would look very nice. When I never noticed that camping has those front printed legends, or maybe I did and I forgot about it. That's a nice touch. Also here on the three. Made it back for lunch to see you put on the keycaps at least. There you go. But don't sweat because we will have a lot of keyboard content coming up. So right after me, we're going to have Chewy from Max on Deck. Uh, 
and we're gonna go all night all the way to tomorrow so plenty of stuff to watch Mizu, please! I will post um, Moto later on my Instagram, so if you want to see how that's going to look like, make sure you follow me there. Also, taking this opportunity to say that I'm also on YouTube. Let me share my YouTube channel with you guys. Uh, you can find all the boards that I built throughout my life <laughs> there so you can find every board that you see behind me there's a VOD for it on that channel along with a few reviews some unboxings so a lot of a lot of content there if you're into looking old to, you know at old streams and things like that if you want to check if a board you're looking to buy how nice it is to build and whatnot that's a good I think it's a good I'm biased but I think it's a good resource to check it out if you have the time and that's you also get a following notification up there like nubs on or furry just did so that's another plus I think <laughs> GMK Olive. Yeah, I thought about that. And Alexe Hano as well. Thank you so much. Oh, nice. So we have a few things to play with. And when this board first came out, I remember that Anthony built a green one, which is really nice as well. You triggered my Alexa reading the following notification. Really? Alex, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll try to not do that anymore, Pedro. <laughs> So we're 30 minutes. We have 30 minutes left. I better speed up if we want to do the marble stuff for the giveaway. What am I missing? So return. Should we do it like this? And then what should we use for escape? Uh, I'm going to put the options here. 
And you guys tell me what you think is a good option. Moon or fire? Yeah, I think fire is... So, but fire is a different red, I don't know. Because this is a shine through kind of keycaps. Or we can add an artisan. Let's do the fire first. I am Tweety, working on the PCB layout generator, but I have not touched it for the past six months, I wanna say. So, but the idea is to go back at it eventually. So um, maybe we can do something like this. I don't know. Oh, and I, did I miss my delete key for here? I guess I did. Oh, yeah. Uh, where is my delete? How did I not see that? I have to go back to this pile of caps here. Control. Hmm. I don't see it. Backspace, yes, here it is. Yeah, it is, it is, but it's intentional. Yeah, I like it that way. A lot of people in the hobby like it like that. And if you never tried it, I suggest you try it. It's, it's, uh, it's a very good feeling. <laughs> All right, let's put those guys in here. Okay, I think this was the right key set. I don't know what you guys think. Yeah, I, I, I do that on some boards, especially if it's split space. I do that for all the bottom row keys as well. Yeah, I agree. I think it looks really good. So let's do a typing test. Let's plug it in. Oh, it's one of those boards that it's really hard to stick this cable on. Okay, let's stop the music. And uh, SLE 989 and Nubs of Furry, thank you both for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, here we go. So we're using typings.gg for the typing test. Let's see if we have camping here. Oh, wow, we don't. Do we? Did I miss it? No, we don't have camping. Mm hmm. Okay, what's the best, next best thing? We need to ask someone to do that. Maybe I can do it. Let's do light. Let's do dots by popular demand. Yeah, I like that. All right, let me lower the microphone so you guys can hear it. I'm gonna take out my, so I can listen to it. You guys ready? Here we go.
Yeah, it, to me, it sounds delicious and it feels very good, even though it's brass. The fact that we didn't sold, we didn't screw all the screws, it gives a little bit of a flex. Let's do one more time. I'm going to do it with my headset now. There we go, yeah. Very, very pleased with how this sounds and how it feels. Really, really nice. All right, so we have 20 minutes to go. What I'm gonna try and do is to set up marbles. Marbles on stream. Let's see if I can do that. Sounds great, I'm building mine with trash, holy pandas, when my PCB arrived. That's interesting, let me know how that sounds. All right, Marables on stream. Oh, hold on. Do you need to download it on Steam? Is that how you do it? If anyone knows if that's the right way. Okay, let's see. How do I play game? Yeah, let's see how big it is and if I can, let me. There you go, two gigabytes. Yeah, I should have been downloading it all along. I don't, maybe. Yes, 51 seconds it says. Let's see. So here's what I see. Where is stream? Just try to stay up the night and get a better reasonable time. Oh, okay. Oh, it seems like we're we we will be able. My, my download speeds are really fast right now. It's usually like 40 here, 40 megabytes per second, but uh, of course we're streaming. What is the boost thing? So how much time do we have left? We have about 18 minutes. I mean, oh, it's it to boost the download? That's what I thought. It did work, look. To jailbait people, I see. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So I got it completely wrong. It's for the game, I see. Okay, so it says I can already play. If it asks me to reboot, then we're going to have a problem. It opened on the wrong monitor. How do I change it to the other monitor? Does anyone know? How can I change monitors on this? Okay, I can't see chat right now because I have marbles on my screen. Drag it, the screen, okay. I can't. Uh, let me sh see if I can, hold on. It looks like I can't. Let 
Make the game window, then drag. Okay. Um, how do I make it? Okay, hold on. Settings. Let's see. Where do I make it? Window display mode. Let me sign in. Hold on, guys. I'm getting there. Let me... Let me get the token for Twitch. Hold on. Out enter, okay. Yeah, that was super easy when I did out enter. You can tell I'm not a Windows user. There we go, authorize. Okay, so what do we do now? <laughs> Let me make it windowed. How do I close this thing? I'm super stupid. Go home, yep, home. How do I close this stats? Click on profile. There we go. All right. Now, what's the ordeal here? What do I have to do? Click on race. Guys, if anyone can donate, I'll give you guys a few minutes before I start. If someone donates, I'm going to give out, on top of the current giveaway, two $50 Amazon gift cards. Click on race. Which one is the better? Uh, Standard, Royale, or Grand Prix? Oh, you donated? I'm gonna take your word on that. So we're 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 giving away prizes for the first four. The bot is down. Yes. So are we taking votes already? Okay. How do I know that those votes are being computed? And how do I start the race? So those are votes. Are those the votes? Ah, okay. Got it. So these are the votes. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm, I know I'm super stupid. Um, and then when I'm ready to start, what do I do? Do I click something or does it start automatically? Let me stop the music. You have to select the map. Okay, how do I do that? Um, how do I select the map? Sorry, guys. I'm super stupid. I don't know how to do that. Click it. What? What do I click? Community maps. What are the options? Is that Standard, Royale, and Grand Prix? <laughs> Sorry, I'm stupid. Ah, okay, okay. All right, I see. So now I need to find, okay, this one, click it. There we go. So now what do I do? Click race, are, are you guys ready? Is there a sound on this thing? Let me stop the music. Okay, let me just see if I am using the correct place for the audio. Yep, 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, so let's get out of here. How do I get out of here? Here we go. Race. Are you guys ready? Can I click play uh, race already? Or do I have to wait for everybody to click to say play? Let's do this. All right, let's click race. There we go. That's so nice <laughs> that we're learning. I'm learning this. I, I watched it. I saw this before, but I never knew how to do it. All right. So the first four people to finish is going to get prizes. It's going to be the first two are going to get an Amazon $50 um, gift card. And the third and fourth are going to get one of my artisan tray. Oh, let me join then. When you're ready, just click start. Okay, let's give people another minute to start. And then I'm gonna click, so at, yeah, in, in one minute. I'll let you know when we have 30 seconds to join. So we're at the 30 seconds mark. Thank you for all the follows, by the way. All right, 20 seconds. Yeah, it's bang play to play. You now have 10 seconds. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Oh, it has a countdown. How stupid am I? There we go. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm loving this. I need to do this more often. Oh, so I... How do I follow the... Do I need to follow it? Help me out, guys. It seems like... Oh, WSAD, okay. Let's see here. Ah, I'm fumbling. This is the most non-productive thing. Who's first? There we go, who is that? How do we know who that is? Oh, that's Suchiro, let's see. Oh my God. Oh, here we go. We need to go up. <laughs> you can see that I don't game and I'm using a freaking trackpad, not trackpad, trackball. We should have a music, no? Let's see here. Thirty bucks winning so far. Who finished first? Secret Blue one forty four, Tweety ninety seven, cosplay, and Ellen's key. Please contact me on Twitter, and I'll give you guys your prizes. There you go. <laughs> okay, we, yeah. Let's do another one. I'm, I'm gonna do another $20 Amazon. Let's do another one. Let's, um, do I have to wait for this to finish? So Secret Blue, let's see that again. So Secret Blue, let me take a screenshot of this. So Secret Blue 144 Tweety 97 cosplay and Alan's key. Please contact me after the stream and I'll make sure. Oh, Victor Pre was fifth. Oh my God. That was close, man. 
All right, let's do another one for $20. Um, Amazon. Let's do standard. I'm going to give you a few minutes for you guys to vote. Uh, do we have do we even have time? I think we have only five minutes. We may not have time. Okay, let's do it. If we if we I think we'll have time. Let's do it. And guys, let me let me just before we start. Um, thank you all that joined tonight for today for the, with the t bottom of my heart. This is a great cause that we are backing and wanted to thank Visionary again for everything and make sure that you stay uh, connected because we're going to have great people following me. We're going to have um, Mr. Chewy. So yeah, let's do it. Let's let's run. So the funnel. Let's race. Thank you so much, Visionaire, for doing this. So here we go, guys. This time I'm going to try to follow stuff better. And again, this is for a $20 Amazon gift card. Oh, press one. Okay. That's the one for follow first person. Thank you. Awesome. So we're going to do that. Let's start. Five seconds. Four, three. Oh, do we have a countdown? I always forget. There we go. Less, less seconds to join. Here we go, guys. So it seems like we're not following the leader, are we? Who are we following? I just pressed one. Oh, now we're following. Now that's nice. So who's trailing? So Corgonaut is still first. Coming up strong. Anybody to take on the lead? Corgonaut is still going strong. Left out to names show up. Ah, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see, still in the lead. Is Cargonaut getting it without anybody trying to challenge this? Oh no, Reason took it over. Christian Sweetie, oh, that's all over the place right now. Mr. Keeps, <laughs> no. Visionaire. Visionaire appeared there for a brief second. <laughs> and this is so cool. Fanwarg, taking it over. Oh, the Arctic Fox, no, look at that. Arctic Fox had the lead for a brief moment. Who's getting it? Hero San. Mm, not anymore. Jan and Port Shark. I'm third, guys. Rigged. Let's see. <laughs> Jeremy 57. On the final stretch here. Anybody too? Ooh! Hold on, hold on. We may have another winner. Last second. It's a very close. Who did it? Import chart 80. Ooh, that was amazing. That was so nice. What an ending. Crap. All right. So make sure you contact me as well, Import Shark 80. And we're going to get you that gift card. Thank you so much for playing, guys. I think it's time for us to start thinking about 
passing the baston to my friend Chewy. Let me just make sure that I, how do I quit the game? I'll enter. Winner is Import Shark 80. Validated. There we go. So I lost completely control of my mouse. Not even sure what's going on right now. Yeah, I did lose my mouse, so I don't know how I'm gonna raid. Let me try unplugging and plugging. Because I completely lose control of my mouse. I might need to. Yep, it's back. All right, closing thoughts here. Uh, I need to pass it on to my friend. Chewy, so is Chewy ready? Is he on already? Can someone check? Again, winners, please make sure you contact me after the stream. And thank you so much for everybody who's following. Visionaire, do you know if Chewy is already streaming? We need to raid the guy. Everybody, again, thank you so much. This was very fun. I had the blast. And everybody who joined, who donated, everything, thank you so much. Okay, so we have a few minutes. I like your mustache. Man, look at this. I should shave. This is not even considered a mustache. <laughs> this should be illegal. Flex the artisans. Let me flex some artisans. This is just a, a part. Take care all of you as well. Some, let's, whoops. There we go, some, some artisans from my collection. Show elongate. Any coming boards? Yes, I am very excited for my own board. I see it's coming up Monday. I'm gonna be running a GB for this board called the elongate. So read one, this artisan box is the one that I created and I just gave away two of them to viewers. So you'll see me talking about this board Monday. It's gonna run in polycarbonate and on aluminum. Visionaire, let me know if um, and when he's ready and I'll raid him. Yeah, this is a very nice board. I love it. It has underglow, the whole... You've got a couple more minutes? Okay. So, I don't know yet the price for this. I should know more Monday. So, I can't make any promises. And let me show you, since we have a few minutes still, this is going to be the aluminum version. So, one of the options you have is to have this mid middle layer in brass like this and it sounds really good let me do a typing test since we have a little time so keep an eye out on geek hack yeah so those are will be the two options that i'm gonna go with uh, but we're gonna have, of course, different colors for the uh, aluminum. So Monday, we're gonna have the IC up, so you guys can vote for the favorite colors. Uh, let me type on the polycarbonate as well. Yeah, a lot of people need the, the numeral and that's understandable. And Dixie Mac is here and just subscribed to tier one with a seven month streak. Thank you so much. And if you guys, well, I don't think everybody don't know. There is not a single keyboard enthusiast that doesn't know Dixie. And he is also a partner of the stream. So if you're looking for keyboard goodies, go to DixieMac.com. How to spell what? Thank you, thank you for the follow, Mixi. I see, yeah, I see is called 
an interest interest check or IC. How can I contact you? If you want, you can contact me through the message button on Twitch. Uh, import shark already did. Here is fine import shark here. And let's see, Secret Blue also contacted me. I'm waiting for the other winners. And thank you so much, <laughs> the replacement for the 45 bits. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I see Cosplay also contacted me already. This, the third place is getting one of those Sweetie Artisan boxes. Uh, cosplay, what's your what's your favorite color for the case? I'll see if I have a PLA of the color. Let me know on the private chat. And we're going to get you guys all those prizes. I'm just going to get a screenshot of the... The two races uh, to get the winners, and if they don't contact me, I'm gonna contact you. Hello, mind. Buy a new printer for it. And thank you for the follow, Dicini. Yes. So, what do you guys want to see before we finish up? Chewy is getting ready, I hear. And I see Alanski also contacted me. What are the colors available? So for the colors, I have Galaxy Black, which is my favorite. It's black with some uh, spe spe speckles. Is that how you say it? It's going to be... And I have gray. I have copper-like. So I will give you the whole... Yeah, this is my Elongate that's going... Speckles, yes. So with some sparkling speckles, if you will. It looks like a galaxy. That's a very nice color. I have gold. I have... I may even have, like, red. So let, let me know what your favorite colors are. And Tweety97. So five out of the... Yeah, I think all everybody contacted me by now. Awesome, Tweety. I got your ping as well. So you got a $50 Amazon gift card that I will generate and send to you right after I finish this. I'm just going to need to borrow that LM gate. <laughs> yeah, this is a very nice board. We need to get this in the hands of the public. Oh, and now the bot works. Look at that visionaire. How crazy is that? Thank you, bot. Galaxy Black for Alansky, he just told me that you got it. And now, only cosplay. Yeah, and I bought your late. Oh, and now he's gone again. Go figure. Mother effer. Where is Chewy? We want Chewy. We demand Chewy. Okay, let me bring a random board, meanwhile. <laughs> this is a funny one. So, some people seen this already. This board was supposed to be a GB that a lot of people got on, but never... Oh, make sure you follow me on the social media platforms. Oh, he started the stream? Okay, we're gonna raid him. Just wanted to show you this Lumina with all N hangies. Okay, so... Once again, thanks everybody for joining, for donating, for playing along. We're gonna raid my friend Chewy. So, is he is he streaming on on Chewy or Max on deck? Thank you, thank you guys, and stay and fall and join me as we raid Max on deck. max on deck here we go guys thanks again everybody 
you have an awesome weekend and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. This was great. Bye, guys.